There are nearly 10,000 cities across the globe. Some have stood the test of time, expanding slowly, while others are new, rapidly evolving hubs. Traditional cities grow in every direction, spreading out, consuming space, swallowing nearby towns and villages. Cities expand organically, making use of available land and natural landscapes, striving to keep their parts close, connected, and thriving in harmony. Some cities, constrained by geography, have no choice but to grow in specific directions. Yanjin, China, for example, stretches in a line, confined by mountains and rivers. But what if a city wasn't constrained by natural forces? What if it was intentionally designed to grow in a perfect line? Spanish architect Arturo Soria's Ciudad Lineal was likely the first attempt, built in 1882, while visionary architect Le Corbusier followed with his radical Ville Radieuse in 1924. A dream of ordered urban life bathed in green spaces. But these early concepts were just that, ideas that never fully came to life. Today, the dream of a linear city is being realized on an unprecedented scale. Welcome to the line, part of Saudi Arabia's $500 billion NEOM project. Amid the vast desert where the sands meet the Red Sea, our story begins. Imagine a city stretched out over 170 kilometers, bordered by two towering walls, a city that will one day house 9 million people in a space entirely designed for efficiency. Unlike the cities of the past, the line is not a place of sprawling roads and endless highways. It's a vertical utopia, designed to eliminate cars, powered entirely by renewable energy, with everything you need just a five-minute walk away. Stunning, futuristic architecture designed for ultimate convenience, impressing visitors and locals with its innovative functionality. In many ways, visiting Neom feels like stepping into the future. As the world's largest purpose-built smart city, Neom represents the culmination of countless past visions and dreams. The largest building in history, it utilizes natural ventilation for sustainable airflow. Beneath the city's surface lies one of its greatest innovations, a high-speed transportation spine. Trains, public transit, and cargo systems integrated into one seamless network. The claim? A hyper-fast train that can cover the entire 170 kilometers in just 20 minutes. NEOM's ambition doesn't stop at transportation. The line will be powered entirely by renewable energy, wind and solar. To meet the energy demands of this massive city, about 40 million solar panels and over 3,000 wind turbines will be needed, creating a challenge as large as the city itself. To operate the city and optimize its performance, artificial intelligence solutions will be deployed at scale. Finally, with 40% of the world's population projected to be within a six-hour flight, the line will be a strategically positioned destination. But with innovation comes challenges. The project's costs, already extreme at the planning stage, carry a high risk of escalating dramatically over time. In transportation, to cover 170 kilometers in 20 minutes, 
the train would need to travel at over 500 kilometers per hour without any stops. During peak hours or in case of disruption, congestion could cripple the city. Without alternative routes, any delay could cascade into chaos. Then there's the question of technology. The line's AI-powered systems promise to make life seamless, but with that reliance comes risk. What happens in the face of a cyber attack or a system malfunction? In a city where every system is centralized, failure could mean more than just inconvenience. It could lead to citywide paralysis. Accidents are inevitable, even with stringent safety and security measures. Traffic disruptions, fires threatening both low buildings and skyscrapers. How would this narrow, vertical architecture withstand such challenges? And with construction only just beginning, the future remains somewhat uncertain. Questions about the project's financing and future plans have been raised. In response, however, the original plans have been reaffirmed. This is what Manhattan, New York would look like if redesigned according to NEOM's principles. One advantage of linear vertical cities, and a feature praised by NEOM's creators, is high density. NEOM's projected population density would reach approximately 260,000 people per square kilometer. By comparison, the densest large city in the world, Manila, has around 43,000 people per square kilometer, about six times less. Would people truly accept living at such an extreme density? And what about the socio-cultural adaptation of the people? Neom's ultra-modern lifestyle may clash with local traditions and Saudi cultural norms, making harmony a challenge. Maintaining privacy amidst constant proximity to others, pervasive sensors, and surveillance could be a significant challenge for many. Also, and unfortunately, as a high-profile project, NEOM may be especially vulnerable to geopolitical tensions and security risks. The ultimate and perhaps most pressing question for a project like NEOM is whether there's genuine demand for such a place. Located in the desert, effectively an island of comfort within a densely populated new urban space without history, NEOM offers a controlled, futuristic environment under constant surveillance. With AI and advanced technologies that haven't yet stood the test of time, will this be a place people are drawn to, willing to settle permanently and call home? Only time will tell. Despite these risks, the line represents something greater than its challenges. If successful, this city could redefine how humans live in harmony with the environment, sustainable, efficient, and connected. NEOM's goals aren't just about technology. They're about changing the way we approach urban living entirely. For proponents of smart cities, the line isn't just a project. It's a proof of concept for the future of urban life. The success of the line could also prove that when humans combine their vision, resources, and creativity, there truly are no limits to what we can achieve. Amid the desert, where sand meets the Red Sea, we wish Neom the best of luck.